Welcome to Coochie Mudlow Island, one of the closest islands to the Brisbane mainland. Uh, we've just anchored up here, Whoop, somewhere over there, and now we're going to go explore the island. Welcome to the beautiful Coochie Mudlow Island at the very southern end of Moreton Bay. Welcome back to the Rider. My name's Damien and this is Brooke and we've just anchored up at Coochie Mudlow Island. Uh, we're on the, the south end of the island so there's a bit of a northerly blowing today so whoa, we're getting blown around a bit. So we've anchored up for a bit of a day trip and on a very lovely day. So uh, Coochie Mudlow is nice and close to the mainland so you can day trip, Brisbane Bodies can day trip from there. Also we've just headed up from the Gold Coast. Um, it's a little bit more than a day trip but we stayed at an anchorage halfway up from the Gold Coast yeah. overnight. It's about 30 nautical miles from the seaway so it's probably it's a long day trip if you wanted to do it but it's it is all in inside the island so without any howling winds you'll have a pretty easy trip up. Coochie Mudlow is not a national park. There's about 700 people that actually reside on the island. So and all this beach here is designated for puppies. Other side, uh, the puppies aren't allowed on. And this is actually an off-leash area too, but it's not always off-leash. Um, because there's some birds that, that nest here, uh, there's little signs up that tell you when you can have your dogs on and off the leash. <laughs> So we are going to give you a small snapshot of everything that you can do on a day trip to Coochie Mudlow. Let's go. All right, just hold on. Yeah, and we can go. The island offers lots of recreational water activities. We've got fishing. Apparently there's lots of brim and whiting in this area, depending on the season. You've got the um, facility to uh, do some jet skiing and you can also hire some kayaks. We're going to walk across um, up to the main section of this beach now. Damien's just going to tie off the tender and you can, we'll be able to see up ahead that there's actually um, flags. So if there's a patrolled area where you can swim safely and it's actually monitored by Surf's life saving. There's also um, a nippers program that they offer here, so children that live on the island um, can access the nipper, nipper activities, but also people from the mainland come across to do nippers. You can see straight ahead there's a barge, you can bring your car across to this island, and you can also jump on a ferry um, without your car and come over here for a day trip. So, this is the barge just leaving the island there and they will actually go straight across to drop the cars off just over there at Victoria Point. As I mentioned earlier there's lots of facilities to do different water sports. In this section here you can hire sailboats and kayaks to enjoy the water. We've also got public boat ramp straight ahead in. here. This is also where the barge pulled in. And so you can put your boat in with ease in a very protected spot so it's not going to cause too much drama as bringing your boat in and off as demonstrated just here. One thing to note just as the barge pulls out you'll notice uh, you can't anchor in this spot because that's with the route where the barge comes in and out so if you want to anchor it needs to be on either side. There are lots of mooring buoys, but they're private. Um, so unless you own it, you can't really go on it. So you just drop anchor. This anchorage, you can see the bigger boats are out a bit further. Um, it is quite a shallow anchorage. So as you get in close where we are, down there, we're only in one and a half meters of water. It is close to low tide at the minute, but it's quite shallow, so just know where you're going. As I said, this is the southern side of the island. We've got northerly. There is some anchorages on the northern side, but it's quite a bit muddier. And there are, is another anchorage on the western side for those easterlies, but it's also it's quite shallow and a bit muddy. This is the premium anchorage, so if you're looking for Coochie Mudlow, look for those north northeasterly winds. That'll be the perfect time to come here. We're going to go off and explore the island. As we made our way along the foreshore, there was lots of facilities, um, sheltered areas for barbecues and picnics. You can see here we're standing on the. Um, jetty where you walk along to catch the ferry 
Um, lots of people enjoying the beautiful weather and, and given it's the weekend we've got lots of day trippers from the mainland. Looking over this side now, um, this is obviously the side where everyone's parked their watercraft. This is more the swimming side over here whereas the watercraft over in this area. All sandy, all beautiful and um, great. Water temperature is about 24 degrees so it's beautiful weather. Let's go a bit further inland and have a look at the township, see what coffee shops are available and um, we'll show you what Coochie Mudlow offers. As we mentioned to you earlier, yeah, this is actually uh, an island that residents live on. So you've got sealed roads, about 700 people live on this island. We are currently standing at the southern point, so this is north here, our boat's anchored over here. So there's quite a few facilities across the foreshore where you can have sheltered areas for your picnics and barbecues, beautiful out of the wind. Although today it's a little warm, so wind is, um, we're welcoming a little bit of breeze. So we're gonna have a look up around this area here. There are um, lots of other facilities which we may not have a look at today, but there's golf course, tennis facilities, bowls club, all those different types of things. So we'll see what we can offer in this video. So walking through this cute little area here, we've just come across a cafe. Last time we were on Coochie Mudlow, we had a fantastic um, morning tea with some and there's actually an art gallery here as well so we had um, absolutely delicious coffee and homemade banana loaf so all of their um, treats that they had to offer on that day were homemade which is a really nice touch and gives it that really relaxed atmosphere the staff are super friendly here so this cafe is called kill you cafe all right and we've got a gallery out the back as well uh, we found some lunch at the Curlew Cafe uh, and it is a really lovely surroundings. So we just jumped into the gallery. This is really quite cool. We didn't realise that uh, the gallery is all artists from just on the island. So there's a silversmith, there's artists, there's woodworkers. Very cool. Definitely check it out. Uh, the gallery is only open on Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So if you come here in the beginning of the week, you will miss out. Yeah, and there's another one just up this street, Ross Street, but uh, of course you can't, not allowed to film in there, that's fine. So we're going to go down this street and discover a little bit more. So you can see some of the facilities in the park, barbecues, playgrounds, there's the, the ferry jetty in the background over there, all nice and shady. We're just heading down to the beach bar which is also only open a few days of the week. Let's see what's going on. A few dead surfboards at the front. The beach bar's just opened up. It's only just past midday, so it's probably a bit too early for a beer just yet. Very nice place, great vista looking south across the water. I think we'll head back there later this afternoon and grab a beer. There's also heaps of food, so great place to uh, maybe catch a bite to eat in the evening. All right, we're gonna head back to the boat and um, finish off our day trip at Coochie Mudlow. That's it for our day trip to Coochie Mudlow. We hope you enjoyed seeing everything that this beautiful spot has to offer. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on the rudder. Ready? <laughs> oh.